Alice and Garfield back, and after a few days relaxing after shedding a horde of 80 or so cobalts, thanks Bard Speed Boost, I'm here to run down levels X, XI, and XII. I'd put in a nautical joke, but we've got no pirates this week. Woohoo! First up, at level 10, is the Slavers of the Shrieking Mines. This quest favors the careful killer. Many a party has had to recall and reset due to studly McZerging idiot cleaving one too many wild men, or a Wizzy Von Smarty Robes letting go of a fireball at just the right wrong time. Still, it's rewarding. This is one of the few quests where you are the good guys, they are the bad guys, and they make a very satisfying fade out when they fall. Remember to go all the way down. There you'll find the golden figurine needed to complete the Restless Isles Explorer and score a chance at the raised dead clicky, the ring of resurrection endorsed by Zombie Drexeland. Next is level 11, and turning up the excitement is Offering of Blood. One of the three flaggers for Against the Demon Queen, this quest was a cut above most fair at this level. I remember running it many times in the pre-epic era. We were looking for spectral gloves. Before ghost painting, this was one of the more solid ways to get damage on damage to incorporeal enemies. But the one thing everyone remembers about running in this quest is the, well, the running. Everything responds, so you run. Run to the doors. Run to the bridges. Run to the bosses. Run to the bathroom. You'll burn calories as well as a wall of fire here. Finally, level 12 gives us Framework. Part of Lord March 1's quest chain, it gives us an opportunity to be a little bit more of the bad guy. Hoping to make the monsters turn on each other, we're going to set up the Gorgon's betrayal of the Minotaurs. A real coin lord move there. The tight confines mean ambush after ambush, so a Minotaur village hamburger makes patties out of you. Sure, after someone gets stoned, you can just roll up on the general. But if you take the time, be meticulous, and clean out the place, you just might impress Doris the Warforge.
Well, time's up. 10 to 12 in the bag. Next time we'll be halfway through. 13 through 15 are all quite good, even if they might leave Doris a bit underwhelmed. Oh well, you can't please everyone, especially if they're programmed not to be pleased. Until next time, peace and good questing.